just found a nice outcrop. And the outcrop uh, has rocks that have a tilt to them. The rocks are tilted into the stream and they're tilted to the west. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a measurement with a Brunton compass. And that measurement will tell us what the rocks are actually doing. You will use the Brunton compass to determine the attitude or the direction of the rock, the dip of the rock, and the strike of the rock. Dip is the tilt of the rock, or how the rock is rotated away from the horizontal, and it can be any direction. That's the dip. The strike is always perpendicular. In other words, 90 degrees to that is the strike. Strike itself always has to have the primary direction on it, and that's north. How many degrees off of north? In other words, how many degrees um, uh, east of north or west of north uh, is the strike. Here we actually see an example, a natural example of strike, where the water has ponded and created a strike direction, and you see the, the tilt or the dip that comes into the rock. And another way to define the dip is if you pour water on the rock, it will trickle down gradient or downstream, and that gives you the dip direction. 90 degrees to the dip direction is strike. Okay, this is a Brunton compass, and it's the piece of equipment we use to tell the direction of the rocks that helps us make our maps and helps us make predictions on where the various units are going because of the strike and the dip. And this is the piece of equipment we use to determine that. And uh, it's a simple compass with the north arrow, of course. That's the, the, the most basic thing. The next thing it has, it has, see this moving right here? That's called a clinometer. That clinometer will give us the dip because we rotate that until that bubble centers itself like it's doing right now. And then we can read off the dip direction. And of course, it's squared off so we can use it on flat surfaces to be able to determine that strike and the dip. Of course, the Brunton compass has a lot of other uses like in traversing, and, and actually triangulating and measuring sections. But that's uh, another subject. I'm getting a reading of north 25 degrees east. So we have a strike north with 25 degrees toward the east is the actual strike. And dip direction is perpendicular. And what I have to do is rotate my clinometer, which gives you the dip angle and the dip angle is 20 degrees to the west in this area.